Hello, my name is Dr Sally Beckham and I'm a polymer technologist working for the Materials Knowledge Transfer Network. I'm here today at the company James Walker in Cumbria to see how polymers are playing a critical role in extreme environments. I'm with Andrew Douglas, the laboratory manager. Andrew, can you tell me a little bit more about what James Walker does? We service a vast range of different industries focused on high performance sealing solutions. Probably typically um, and most commonly uh, nuclear, oil and gas and pharmaceutical. I'm interested particularly in the uh, oil and gas. Can you tell me something about the conditions and extremes in these critical environments? Oil and gas give us some of the biggest challenges. Um, Typically we talk high pressures, um, low temperatures, often high temperatures as well. Very, very arduous environments for traditional elastomers. So just why is it critical that the elastomers can perform well in these conditions? The consequences of seal failure are so high both in terms of cost and potentially in terms of human life as well. And environmental damage which is possible which we've seen in the past. Can you tell me how you select the elastomer type for these, these conditions? Is there a particular um, type of material you use? Traditionally we work very, very closely with our clients because different materials are required for different applications. So we take a lot of time to ensure that we look at the media, the temperature, the pressure that's being used. Um, because we have our own dedicated mixing plant on site, it allows us to develop bespoke custom solutions for particular applications. Are there any particular um, criteria that are specific to the oil and gas industry in terms of sort of test methodologies that you might have to look at? Probably the biggest single problem that we see in the oil and gas industry is a phenomenon known as rapid gas decompression, or RGD. This is where seals are damaged through pressure fluctuations. Um, these pressure fluctuations cause seals to split and to fall apart um, and obviously lose seal integrity. How do you test the materials for rapid gas decompression? We have our own dedicated test facility on this site which can cope with extremes of temperature and pressure which is useful for us and where we can model the phenomenon of rapid gas decompression and other related issues to the oil and gas industry and other industries as well. What's the key factor that makes a material resistant to rapid gas decompression? It's a combination of factors in actual fact and different materials have different failure modes but traditionally the most important thing is to get a very very homogeneous mix. How do you um, achieve near flawless materials? Because we have our own dedicated mixing plant on this site it allows us to control the raw materials, the way we mix the rubber compound um, and the testing of the rubber compounds to ensure that every batch is as near flawless as we can make it. Um, these batches are tested by our laboratories before they're released to production. Andrew, thank you very much for taking time to talk to the Materials KTN. Thank you. The Materials KTN assists UK companies by networking, facilitating partnerships and finding funding. Please visit our website for further information.